Welcome. Have you ever wanted to invite someone or wanted to join someone else's trip and wondered to yourself, are we compatible? Travel can be a fun and challenging experience, but it can also be stressful. In this video, we'll go into how to categorize your traveler's persona and determine your travel compatibility or how to theme your trips. If only all of us could start tagging our trips and our stories with these travel personas, we'll quickly understand the theme and overall goal of the travel. But first, let me introduce myself. I am Don, and if you enjoy travel and adventure, you've come to the right place where I share tips and experiences to help make sure that your next trip is a wonder to behold. Also, be sure to feed the YouTube algorithm and make sure you smash that like button. And if you'd like to uh, share your own adventures or check out some of my upcoming adventures and even join me on those adventures, check out my subreddit, link down below. And you might be asking yourself, what is a travel persona? A travel persona describes how you want to travel or what you expect from your travel. And it's important to note, it may change over time. So you wanna ask yourself this early before you start planning your trip. The people you bring on the trip really matter. It'll make or break your experience. And that's why with limited time and resources, you really want to make sure that the experience and the trip you go on will be equally enjoyed by everyone. When certain activities or wants from different members of the group are not met, there may be disappointment and ultimately conflict on the trip. First off, do you enjoy hiking alongside the volcano, swimming with the sharks, or exploring the world's jungles? Then you might be an adventurer. An adventurer is someone who's seeking thrills, challenge, new experiences, and the road less traveled. A great quote to describe an adventure would be, if you're not living life on the edge, you're taking up too much space. If you enjoy travel with low planning, stress-free environments, then you might be a relaxer. Relaxers are individuals who like to book and go with minimal to no planning, and they like to arrive in their location with things very straightforward, minimal effort and low stress, such as spas, theme parks, cruises, and resorts. If you consider yourself to be a digital nomad or a remote worker that also likes to travel a little bit with low stress while still being in the clock in, you might also be a relaxer. A good quote for the relaxer is, true freedom is to wake up daily without a plan and go to flow. If you enjoy learning about the history, going deep into the culture, and finding the questions and all the answers, then you might be a culturist. A culturist seeks out museums and other places of historical value, and they will read all of the placards and know all of the details by the end of it. They like to embrace the culture and try to connect all of the dots from everything they've learned and piece things together as they experience them. A good quote for the culturist is that history is filled with interesting lessons of the past. If you enjoy traveling for the social aspects or low overhead to accommodate large groups, then you might be a groupie. Groupies favor group-friendly activities such as safaris, cruises, and tours. A good quote for the groupie is, a family that travels together stays together. If you enjoy food and wine tasting, cooking, or socializing over a shared meal, you might be a foodie. A foodie seeks out the best cultural dishes, the best chefs, the best restaurants, and cuisines across the world. The food experience becomes the centerpiece of the enjoyment of the travel. A good quote for the foodie is, food is the anchor point in the tempest of life. Okay, that's all the five travel personas. Now you know which one you are and which one you want to travel, but make sure you check in on yourself because it'll change over time. Make sure you smash that like button if you haven't already and check out our other content on our travel. If you enjoy those tra the tips and experiences, we have more coming. Take care, until next time.